I can't feel my cheeks. What are we drinking? No idea. Can you read German? That's uh, actually Dutch. Oh. Wait, where are we? Amsterdam. Dear Elena. Yep, halfway across Europe, and they're still drunk. Is that really necessary? Elena told me to keep a journal of everything she's missing. When she wakes up in 60-some years and finds out that Rick died from alcohol poisoning, she's going to want to know what happened. Unless you tragically choked to death in those cocktail peanuts, and then I can tell her myself. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna go rent a bike, see the city, like a normal tourist. That's why they don't wear helmets here. Keeps getting funnier. Hey, right in the tram tracks? Don't look both ways. Got it. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to go with her? Let me just try. I'm not leaving you. I don't need a babysitter, Daniel. This isn't about what you need, Rick. It's about what I need. Because keeping you from jumping off a cliff keeps my mind off of the fact that my girlfriend's magical coma is linked to a Bennett witch that has a knack for avoiding permanent death. I see. So my misery is merely a convenient distraction for you. Yep. Okay. Have you been to Mystic Falls? There is a heretic clipping his gnarly heretic toenails in my master bath right now. I have nowhere else to go. So I guess it's a good thing. I didn't get hit by a truck, huh? Come on, Bonnie, it was three seconds. Do you know how long three seconds are in a life or death situation? In the first second, I thought how amazing it would feel to have Elaine in my arms again. By second number two, I kissed her. And by the third, I remembered, you're my best friend. And that if anything ever happened to you, I would lose my mind. So yes, Bonnie, I do know how long three seconds are. Checking. And I will wait for her. And you're gonna help me. You stuck with me too. The heretics are out because of me. No, Bonnie, the heretics are out because my mother's a lunatic and everyone's too scared to stop her. I'm not. I wanna fight. I want our town back. Are we making a huge mistake handing over our hometown to a bunch of supernatural terrorists? Yeah, probably. Stop. I'm a control freak giving up control. I'm delicate. Well, what would Sheriff Forbes do? She would protect human life at any cost. Well, then, no. I don't think we're making a mistake. I would heal from my mom's death. I really thought that time would pass and one day I would be ready to move on. But she's my mom and I'm never going to stop missing her. Well, it's life, Caroline. I mean, you can't just sit back and wait for the good parts to happen, but what you can do is you can forgive yourself for trying to be happy during the bad parts. <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, board up the front door. Hey, Stefan. I am happy. You make me happy. It, it, my best friend's gone. My mom's dead. It, the whole town is destroyed, but when... I'm with you. I'm happy. And yeah, you're right. I just 